everybody, it's Tom Lyons here from makingyoufindable.com and I have something different to show you today. One of the questions I get a lot of the times is um, filming virtual homes, so I've got a weird setup here. I mean, if we're um, we're going to take the little ZI8, you can see that, ZI8 um, Kodak camera, which I really recommend. This is a lot like a, a Flip Mino or Flip HD um, camera. This one does 1080p and 720p and it does, it's great for filming homes. Um, when you want to do it, but one of the disadvantages with filming with these things is they don't have a wide angle. So you gotta get, you're trying to get in there and you're trying to get the shot and you're trying to do all sorts of stuff with something like this. So I'm going to show you a little trick that um, you can use to turn these into a wide angle camera. One of these, this is, um, this is a, let me see if I've got this shot right here. So this is a wide-angle lens. You can buy this for about um, $40 um, off of eBay in the U.S. It's a little more in Canada. I'll have links there for you if you're able to do it. And um, it's an adapter kit, so it comes with these nifty little adapters that you can see, and they're in all sorts of different sizes. So you can see this one here is a um, 30.5 millimeter, right, like this. And you'll notice that I can't actually screw an adapter onto this. There's no, no place to screw it on, right? Here, let me see if I can get this shot right. So there's no um, no place to screw this on, <laughs> right? So, to like this. So pretty good. So this one fits just about right, and you can see how it attaches on. Would attach right here. We're gonna actually crazy glue this on here, um, so that it's on there. So I'm gonna take my brand new ZI8, which I just purchased. Um, for about hundred and um, hundred and sixty-five dollars, and I'm going to glue it onto here, right? And then what happens is, and then I've got my wide-angle lens, which you can see right here, right? And um, as you can see, this adapter, the whole point of it is that it will, assuming that I can do it right here, will actually screw on like this. So what happens is, is once once this, and the reason I'm using crazy glue is because crazy glue will adhere plastic and metal together really well. Um, once this adapter gets glued onto here, I will be able to then, once it dries, be able to screw on the wide angle lens. Okay, here we are, and you can see I've got the camera set up here for you guys to be able to see. I'm choosing the 28 millimeter adapter. I think that's probably the one that's probably the best fit to be able to glue on here. Um, so as you can see, I've got myself just a single use crazy glue. We're going to put that here, nice small tip to hopefully be able to do that smoothly. And wish me luck because I am not the steadiest person on the planet, but we're going to put a thin, ever so thin there, it's all the way around. And then we're going to take this and moment of truth, depending on what happens here. And we're just going to hold that for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to pause this and um, we're going to let it dry. And then I'll come back and we'll see how well it works. Okay, everybody, as you can see, we've got this glued on and it's their type, so we're going to take the lens which is right here, you can see it, and all we literally do, take that, screw it on, and voila, we now have a wide angle lens for our so camera. here we are, um, I picked our hallway here, which is um, relatively narrow, so it really gives a good idea of what, um, what this is going to look like, so I'm going to walk down this hall, You'll see what it's going to look like without the adapter, and then I'm going to put the wide wide angle on so you can see. So as we go on, not seeing a whole lot as we walk down this hall. There we go. Okay. So now let's go back, and this is about where we were. So I'm just going to put the adapter and just take a note of the figurines on the left hand side there. So there we go. Same view. Now I get that entire side. I'm getting a little bit of, a, of the pictures on the right, and I'm getting all the um, stuff on the left. And as I walk down the hall, you're going to see I'm getting everything as I go. 
right? I'm getting more of the floor and getting more of everything as I go. And if I were to um, go back, you can see I just catch up, catch a lot more going down that hall. But more importantly, when I'm here, so I'm going to pan in to um, to the bathroom here for you. Now we can kind of catch everything that's in here a lot easier across the board. But if I take off, so let's just take this shot here, right, where I'm catching that much of the sink and take it away. You can see I lose almost the entire sink there with that view from here. I barely catch the, the toilet, or I'm catching the toilet. I don't even see the toilet. Catching the toilet, the radiator part of the floor, and if I angle like that, you know, you, you lose almost everything. And again, we'll show you, this is with the adapter, without the adapter, with the adapter, without the adapter. So see how I catch her the whole floor? Like here, I've got the rug on the bottom. I've got the entire vanity. I've got the entire hall. You know, if I go up a little bit, I can catch the ceiling. But if I take it away, I don't see the ceiling at all. It's just a huge difference in its ability. Okay. So there you go. Z-I-8 wide-angle lens. Um, easy hack. Not that expensive to do.